A jubilant spirit filled the air in Navy on December 31st, 2023, as the Louis Carter Foundation, founded by the visionary chief Louis Carter Onwenu, celebrated a decade of impactful service. <music> chief Louis Onwenu, a beacon of positive change, hailing from Navy, also marked his 70th birthday adding an extra layer of joy to this momentous occasion. foundation, synonymous with positive change, has become a beacon of hope, sponsoring hundreds of youth on transformative educational journeys. The commitment to education has made the Lewicato Foundation a force for good, enriching lives and shaping futures. The commemoration began with a heartwarming Thanksgiving Mass at St. Louis Catholic Church in Urago Navy. Esteemed individuals, including the founder of Innocent Vehicles, Chief Dr. Innocent Chukuma, and his wife, Lady Ebere Chukuma, Mr. Gabriel Chukuma of Gabra's Group, PG Urago, and CEO of Organiza Oil, Chief Innocent Okoli, member representing Navy North at the House of Assembly, Honorable Augustine Ike, and numerous other distinguished personalities from Navy and beyond, gathered to express gratitude to God for the Foundation's impactful decade and to celebrate Chief Louis Omobinu's life. <laughs> During the Mass, Chief Louis Omobenu received a papal gift from the Pope.
from the beneficiaries of the Louis Carter Foundation. The beneficiaries of Louis Carter Foundation on this day, 33rd December, on the occasion of the text year anniversary of the foundation. Congratulations. I think that I know that they can end up now going to go all the way around to 1,000. Look at everyone here. Generous donations running into millions were made by friends of Louis Carter and well wishes, fortifying the foundation's capacity to make positive impact. <laughs> the mass, a joyous reception unfolded at Luikata's compound in Jojuku Urago Navy. <laughs> Emeka Onubenu, Chief Louis Son, shared a touching revelation about the foundation's inception and offered prayers for his father's continued good health. You know, the, full, the full history of this actually started in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's where I'm based. And you know, my dad visited me, and we're talking about some of the great men of that city. Uh, one of them was Andrew Carnegie. Um, one of the very big philanthropists in the United States um, gave so many billions and did so much. And we talked about it in 2013. And that's where the whole idea of foundation came to be. And at the time, it was just in the infancy stage, you know. And you know, we had the first events, and nobody really knew what would come out of that. You know, then looking back, you know, to your question, 10 years and how much has impact that has grown. You know, it was uh, an idea you know, between a father and son drinking Heineken to what we are seeing today is, is simply magical. I think if you look at where this country, Nigeria, is now economically and politically and financially, um, the country is trying to um, unwind itself. But I think that opportunity to be able to create a path for families to be able to have their talented kids go to institution and complete their education. I think, you know, on a very simple level, that will help that individual. You know, on the next level, that will help that family. But I think more on a macro level, that really helps the country. When you can take kids that, w that are able to get that talent, you know, despite not having the financial wherewithal, and able to get that education, I think for every single one of us, more of those kids that we have getting those skill sets, you know, the better it is, not just for new in, in, in general, but for Nigeria as a whole. Reverend Father Charles Odeke, a board member, expressed gratitude for the foundation's existence and shared hopeful aspirations for impacting even more lives in the future. I'm happy for this uh, remarkable event. Within this period of 10 years, a whole lot have achieved. You know, when you talk of Louis Kata Foundation, it's not uh, specifically for education. It includes paying hospital bills for those who could not pay their hospital bills. And also, about two years ago, he empowered about 20 youths with a return of one million each. Uh, uh, this kind of foundation for me is like a platform to help people. That's why today, as you mark the 10th anniversary, the, the patron or the founder who have been sponsoring it wholeheartedly and then decided to open up for people to key in to support the foundation. Okay. So I'm very, very happy for this opportunity of touching humanity because we have a common project in the world that common project is humanity 
to make the lives of people better. And that is the goal of Riscata Foundation. As the mark is 70th birthday, we pray for more years to spend in good health. We look forward for his 80th birthday celebration, which I made a lot of promises, even to the choir and to other people. So we keep praying for him, for God to keep blessing him. God has already blessed him, but to bless him the more. Well, the more God blesses him, the more he bless others. The event was enriched by presentations from beneficiaries, including Ms. Taberechi, Victor Okonkwo, and several others. not only illuminated the philanthropic endeavors of Louis Kata as a billionaire industrialist, but also revealed his humility and kindness. <laughs> As Chief Louis Onwenu revels in the joy of this day, the people extend their heartfelt wishes, praying for continued blessings upon this esteemed business mogul. We are here to appreciate him because Onyo uh, Ananenye Scholarship, O Creative Foundation, he is not running for election. He is doing the duty of government. It is what we are supposed to, to be doing that he is doing for us. So our own is to support him in any way possible, in any way that we can. Okay? because uh, he is training nations for us. So, and uh, this is the most perfect way to control crime. Because when you have out of school children, you have crime, crime rate will increase, you know? So he's, uh, he has been very helpful and uh, we are going to make sure we, we give this in a new look, okay? And draw the att attention of government, draw the attention of UN, so that they will start getting grants, you know, as intervention fund, because it is actually reaching out to those that you should reach out to. So we are happy, we are celebrating him at 70, and we pray, even though he's just 98 and still walking about. When he'll be 98 and 100, we still come here and be celebrating him, because God needs to keep him, so that so many people will live through him. Thank you very much. I pray for longer life for him, good health, and then for the mercies of God upon his life and family. It is not just a celebration, but also a testament to the power of impactful philanthropy and the profound difference one person can make in the lives of many. Thank you for joining us today on Anedo TV. Stay tuned for more enriching narratives. I'm Gloria Ogoke. Many thanks for watching. Oh,